Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my second unboxing of Cohorted. Now if nobody knows what Cohorted is, it is a beauty subscription box I get every month and this is my second box. This does include high-end brands, but it's £35 per month including postage and packaging. As you can see, the seal has not been broken so I haven't been naughty and opened it yesterday when it did arrive. So yeah, if you want to find out what's inside this box then just stick around. So this is what the cohorted looks like when you get it out of the box. It just says cohorted be you be beautiful and it's also got this gorgeous high quality ribbon on the front and it's just a plain black box. Immediately when you open the box you see that there is a magazine cover on the front. So this will basically tell you what is in the box and a bit about each product and this box value is £188 which is pretty decent because let's say you only pay £35 so you're getting a pretty good bargain there. The whole box just by looking at it is from a brand called Figs and Rouge so they must have done a big collaboration with Cohorted so all the products that are inside are from this particular brand. And so the first product we have is the Morning Revival Hydration Res Restoration Rose Cream. In the book it says it retails for £35. It's a deeply nourishing and skin boosting morning hydration cream blended with restorative rose hip and reviving rose water to delicately brighten an even skin tone. Formulated using a combination of hydrochloric acid, shea butter and naturally curing vitamins A, C and E. Perfect for liberating inner radiance and waking up a tired or sluggish complexion along with soothing properties of candula and aloe to ensure this is a delicate and anti-inflammatory morning skin treat. A 50ml bottle, so that is actually quite big for a cream that comes in these boxes. Look up close, it is a pump nozzle. So we squirt some on our hand and we'll see. Oh, it's nice. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got quite a pink shade to it. Just about. Let's rub some. Oh, it's very light cream. And it smells, of course, of rose water because that's what is inside. And it does say in the packaging that it is vegan and cruelty free, so that is also really, really good. This is the Day Detox Micro Refining Serum. And this is only a 30ml bottle and in the booklet it says that it retails for £38 which is quite expensive. So this is the only detox you need for a glowing complexion. The ultra lightweight detoxifying serum is designed to improve skin texture, refine and unclog pores, infused with rosehip with hazel and salicylic acid to brighten complexion daily. Doesn't sound too bad. I'm not the greatest fan of rose water smells. If it's too, if it's too powerful, then it just makes me feel a bit ill. But smelling these creams, it isn't like in your face. It's sort of like nice and mellow. So, so next up we have Fix and Rouge Illumination Eye Balm. So it's an eye bright morning reviver. <laughs> Oh mine, I've been skipping all the way through that booklet and I've gone past that page like a million times. That's great, isn't it? Retails for £30. Wow. This is only 15 mil and it retails for £30. That's absolutely bonkers. An inspiring morning reviver eye balm is infused with delicate rose water, aloe, eye bright and candula to carefully to diminish puffiness and restore luminosity to tired eyes along with hydrochloric acid shea butter and collagen boosting rosehip oil treatment to soften add bounce and diminish fine lines for deep renewal no more tired looking eyes i need it at the moment i've been so tired i've got a screaming baby next door to me that won't shut up and has been crying for weeks and weeks on end and not like a crying it's like I'm screaming, crying. I need this. The amount of people who've told me in work recently that I look absolutely shattered and I feel like I'm a full-time mum already and I haven't even had kids yet. Next up we have 
the Morning Revive Oil. Is a 10 ml bottle and this retails for £22 so it's a concentrated moisture shot facial oil designed to deeply nourish hydrate and visibly add bounce to revive and renew a dull and tired or tired complexion carefully blended with skin conditioning omega vitamin collagen enriching oils including rosehip evening primrose rosemary and kendula this lightweight intensive treatment oil delivers instant radiant and skin vitality. I like oils. It's got all those little sucky things at the front. And it's got a lovely shimmer shine to it. I don't think you can see that. I think it's all dried up now. And it has got the rose infused smell but nothing too powerful so it's not going to knock me out anytime soon. Second to last product that's in this box is the Soft Focus Pore Perfect HD Matte Veil. I really do like the packaging on this one. I love pink. Don't get me wrong, I do like the white packaging as well. It stands out of the crowd. I do like this pink one, it's very, very nice. So it says in the booklet that this retails for £35 and this has only got 30 mil in it. I think we're getting the gist of this box. Every single one of these products is very expensive. No wonder it costs a box of value of £188. So £35 would basically just buy me this alone. So we did pretty well out of this box for fair, didn't we? It banished those pores with this weightless matte serum designed to help minimise the appearance of pores and create a sheer complexion with a duo, a duo action anti-blemish formulation to help reduce skin impurities and combat breakouts leaving you with a clearer balanced complexion. So I'm guessing it's like a primer, is that right? They always use like such fancy words so if it's a primer just say it's a primer. It looks like it is a primer because it's going to fill in your pores and make it matte. Oh, not what I was expecting. Not at all what I was expecting. It says it's a matte veal, but it goes onto the skin very wet. I don't think you'll be able to see this. Like, it's very, very wet. There isn't anything particularly matte about that. It's alright. I don't really know what I'm feeling about this box because the first one I got was really good. I think we got eight products in it and had a different variety of things whereas this just seems to be mainly focused on skincare. Don't get me wrong, I like my skincare but because you look forward to it all month it was just a little bit of a letdown to be honest. I know quite a few people who've got this box absolutely love it but I like more of a mixture of range of things so like a face mask, I can go to I don't know, like some foot salts or something. I like a range of bits and bobs where when it's all from one brand and it all smells of bloody rose water, it's not something that I am that excited about to be honest. Hopefully next month's box is going to be a lot better than this, not really doing anything for me. Oh dear. The final thing is a, what a surprise, Figs and Rouge and it's their Glow Drops, Morning Glow Drops. 30 ml of product inside and let's have a look in the old booklet uh, what we're retailing for so this retails for £28 and it says illuminate and glow with morning revival rose glow drops an instant complexion boosting and smoothing elixir designed to enrapture skin in a dewy soft glow the weightless oil free rose quartz mineral complex primes highlights and customizes for a bright for a vibrant and glowing complexion formulated with a distinctive brightening multi-hued minerals to help ident intensify radiance for perfected and refreshed skin and if you look at the model she's feeling very refreshed in herself she feels like she's just coming out of the steam room there she is, look at that glow, look at that radius. Woo! She glowing. Mm. It's not really highlighter drops, is it? It's more of just like a lovely glow in the morning. So it's got the same title lid, little squeezy on the top. And my hand is gonna be smelling fresh after this. So fresh. So fresh. 
much. And then we'll rub it in. It doesn't really have a particular smell. Oh, it says on the bottle that you can put one to two drops with serum oil moisturiser or foundation to create an instant illuminated soft focus effect. So I think I might try that during the week because I do like to have a glowy finished foundation. I'm wearing that Kiko Milani one today, but I haven't actually put any powder on top. This is just my own skin looking fresh. I have actually got a massage after this, so I'm going to have to take the whole face off. So that's a bit, uh, that's a bit sad, isn't it? Five, six, six products in this box. It is a bit of a, eh, like a bit of a letdown for me, I'm not gonna lie. As you say, you have to sort of warm into things like this gently because you really don't know how your skin is going to react to rose hip water. But I will give it a go. As I know, I paid for this box, so I might as well use the products that are inside and I'll just add it to my ever-growing collection of new products to try. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Izzy, nice to meet you. Isabel, Izzy, Isabel, Izzy, 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 Isabel, whatever you like to call me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and yeah, I'll just see you next week for a brand new video. In a bizzle.